For years, automakers have been trying to integrate your phone into your car. And now it feels like this has been turned on its head. It's integrating your car essentially into your phone. iCar, Apple 2022, Apple Car. The iCar project has been going on behind the scenes at Apple for a long time. So if you're a fan of Apple's products, you'll be delighted to hear that the plans for their new iCar are finally about to materialize. So let me walk you through what the potential iCar is all about. The iCar project? It's safe to say that the folks at Apple like having their fingers in many pies. And they're finally thinking of moving on from smaller gadgets like phones and iPads to larger ones like cars. But these plans haven't been introduced recently. In fact, back in February 2015, there were rumors that Apple was working on their first ever car design privately. This obviously got a lot of attention from Apple fans around the world. And people agreed that they would probably invest in a potential iCar. You might not be aware of this, but Apple's iCar project is codenamed Titan, according to the Wall Street Journal. The journal also stated that there were several hundred employees working on this project. But even though we do know that Apple is looking at car-related technology, we're not really sure if they want to use it to make and launch a new car in the short run. But they're definitely cooking something up, because in May 2018, news emerged that Apple and VW were to work together on a driverless vehicle to shuttle its employees to and from work. This also makes people wonder if having an autonomous shuttle service is the extent of Apple's ambition when it comes to cars. Rumors related to the car have recently restarted in 2020, when reports claim that there's a team of people at Apple, which also includes some ex-Tesla employees who are working on drive systems, vehicle design, and external car body designs. So we could only hope for something great to be created. If you went back to 2015, there was a feeling that when Apple was getting involved, that this was going to happen immediately. Launch date. Even though we don't know how much of the car has already been made, people are really curious about when the car will be launched. After all, the iCar is a huge deal. According to Reuters, the company is currently working on design and logistics, and are planning to have the final launch in 2024. But we might have to wait a little longer, too. Other reports from Bloomberg have stated that the iCar isn't even in the production stage, and it might take Apple half a decade to launch their car. Also, factors like COVID-19 are really affecting the speed at which design and production is taking place. And you probably know what that means. We clearly won't be seeing the iCar until at least 2025. Has Apple canceled its secret car project? Even though there have been reports of the iCar project continuing steadily and secretly at the Apple headquarters, there have been reports of the project being called off by the company. According to CNBC, the company laid off 200 staff who had been allegedly working on the iCar at the end of January 2019. There were also other employees who have been relocated to other research teams and branches of the company. The idea was for them to move to projects in other parts of the company where they would support machine learning and other initiatives. But I don't think this means that Apple has seized its work in the autonomous vehicles area. They definitely still want to work on that project given the huge gains they're getting from it. Also, it's one of the most ambitious machine learning projects in the world. What the CEO says. Before we move on to what the iCar looks like, let me tell you about what Apple CEO Tim Cook thinks about the car. When he was interviewed by Bloomberg, Cook stated that the company wanted to conduct research on autonomous systems. There is a major disruption looming there, uh, not only for self-driving cars, but also the electrification piece. This is because autonomous technology will literally control the future. Not just this, it is a core technology that is the mother of all AI projects in the world. This also makes it one of the most difficult AI projects to actually work on. Of course, Cook did not confirm or deny whether Apple is working on producing an iCar, driverless or otherwise. He didn't even talk about whether the technology will be used by existing car manufacturers. The company is still in their design stage, but Cook also stated that they wanted to explore further and were willing to spend large amounts of money for it. Features even though it's tough at this stage to pinpoint key features of Apple's upcoming vehicle, a report from Business Insider in September 2017 gave us a glimpse of what employees working on the project wanted the car to offer. You might find this really exciting because Apple engineers are looking for a car design that features automatic doors that open and close silently. And not just this, they also want to design an interior without a steering wheel or pedals. This means that the car they're trying to build would be fully autonomous. Other key factors include virtual or augmented reality built into interior displays for entertainment purposes, so that you won't have to spend even a moment bored inside the car. The team also wanted to design special spherical wheels that would allow the car to drive sideways. Also, 
they want to develop a more aesthetically pleasing driving system to replace the clunky LiDAR system that is being used by other companies developing autonomous cars. Even though all of this is still under review, one thing that really caught my eye was their idea of a new entertainment system. Business Insider has recently discovered a secret Apple office in Berlin that is apparently devoted to transportation, using engineers hired from car companies. But it is also possible that they're developing an in-car entertainment system. The idea is that if fully autonomous cars in the future can drive themselves, what will the occupants be doing? To entertain the people inside the car, Apple is allegedly coming up with a system that includes Wi-Fi, broadband connectivity, navigation information, and its own operating system, which are all features that the company offers. This, coupled with a Siri-enabled smart speaker, will help you to control your car with just your voice. So all you'll need to do is interact with an iOS-like user interface to drive yourself to places. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to, to work on. What will it look like? Now that we've decided some important features that the new Apple car might have, let's go over what the car will probably end up looking like. Apple has filed a couple of patents over the years to secure their potential designs. The first one, which was filed in 2009, shows the design with an in-car camera technology. You might not be aware of this, but this technology can also be used to detect hand gestures that could control car functions like locking the system or turning the headlights on. Another patent filed in early 2012 concentrated on the configuration of the vehicle. This means that it tries to solve the problem of how multiple people can all use one car but still be comfortable. The answer that Apple has come up with is to use an iPhone to program user preferences from seat position to the ideal temperature or favorite radio stations. So you could get into someone else's car, but have the same preferences you have in your car get instantly set for you. Another patent the company has filed describes using the iPhone's geolocation abilities to monitor and control certain car functions based on geofences. The idea is to utilize the signals sent from your iPhone to do a variety of things. This could also include unlocking your car as you approach it and locking it back again as you walk away. Other functions even include opening the boot when you stand near the rear of the car, which is quite a handy function. One of the most recent patents that was published in 2017 describes a system that utilizes Bluetooth sensors for car-to-car -car communication. This means that these sensors in the iCar could potentially communicate with nearby cars and even control a GPS system that updates the driver's dashboard. You might not know this, but this technology can even help you spot obstacles like cars in your blind spot, or nearby emergency vehicles that might cause you harm. Competition Even though the iCar is definitely going to be one of a kind, there are similar models and ideas going around in other companies as well. Tesla, for example, set the standard for semi-autonomous cars. And even though their designs have some flaws, their cars have been approved and are already in the production stage. In fact, people have even been able to purchase them. But this is not the case with the iCar because it's still in the works and production is taking a lot of time. Did you know that Google also has a project going on? Their project is codenamed Waymo, and the company says that they're trying to build the world's most experienced driver. The idea is the same, to build a perfect autonomous vehicle that wouldn't depend on any human intervention to work successfully. And according to a Business Insider source in August 2017, the development of Apple's autonomous driving technology is at the same stage as Google was three years ago. This means that Apple is trying to catch up to Google, or they might be trying to achieve something completely different. So what do you think? Will Apple end up releasing their iCar, or will they drop the idea altogether? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.